Hello and welcome to another little update of my loft layout. Um, thought we'd start with a little loco there. So this was, um, I bought this seven years ago as a 50th birthday present. And this is really what the loft's all about because this doesn't run very well over points. It doesn't like shunting layouts, but it loves running quietly around my big loft layout. So that's a bit of a success. So the big two changes we've got are, obviously the big thing is I now have a photo back scene. This is the one I've used before, the Ross and Y one from Gage Master. Um, it's 12 inches high, which is very good. It's simply stuck onto the hard. I've stuck some hardboard over the other hardboard, but running the other way. Uh, and that was double sided tape and PVA on. And then I've used double sided tape to fix the back scene on so that I don't get all the ridges that you tend to get with um, PVA. I know you can use wallpaper paste but I've never found that particularly satisfactory and then the other big change is I've obviously begun to do all the platforms and I've done the platform facing so that's just using Metcalf um, dress stone sheets and of course really quick and easy using card onto the edge of a piece of melamine like that and you can see here where I've added started adding platform extensions made out of cardboard um, at each end of the platform and then they'll have barrow crossings at the end as well um, but I quite like the grey look uh, together with the grey ballast mat that gives quite a unified look so I guess not a great deal done I've got my platforms I've got my back scene I've got very busy now of other projects away from model railways um, so I'm not sure what we'll have up next week update wise um, oh another little thing I don't know if I showed this this is a little cattle dock just made out of a piece of the Daypole station platform and some fencing so that's going to go in there so that'll give me a cattle dock a little coal yard a little lock up goods store and a provender store so plenty of um plenty of goods activity going on there and then we'll just film this running through the station i believe this is a fowler somebody will probably correct me um there we go a beautiful smooth little slow runner through there so I'm quite pleased with that. Still got a bit of a mess through here. This is something a little bit different. John Winterburn, who died the other year, and his daughter's a friend of my wife's. I've been helping him clear stuff. And this runs really well. It's a little electric multiple unit. Somebody will know better than me what they are, uh, but they run very well. Um, the station's not going there. <laughs> I've just put it there for something to, to sit there for the time being. So there we go. I think next time we'll probably have a running session um, because I don't think I'm going to have a lot of building done. Um, let's see if we can get this other loco running. So we'll just have a few trains running round. But as I say, it's beginning to look quite nice with the back scene now and the platform edges. I do like my lined black BR locos. There we go. And we should have coming round here, my county class. It did look quite nice going through that station though. But I have other plans for that area. So in under the bridge and into the station. So thank you very much for watching and uh, we'll have another little update next Friday. Hi, thanks for watching the video and for the nice comments. Uh, click on the left for a previous video in this series. Click on the right for another video you might enjoy. And please don't forget to click to subscribe, like, comment, etc. Thanks again.